Dear friends, in this video, we'll talk about emotional EMF due to magnetic field of Earth. Okay, so what happens if you move in Earth's magnetic field? Then you cut those field lines, and uh, EMF is induced because of those uh, cutting of magnetic field lines. Okay, so first of all, we should know the direction of magnetic field of Earth is along south to north from south pole of earth to north pole of earth bh obviously the horizontal component is from south to north and vertical component will be either up or down depending on in which hemisphere you are let's say you are in uh, southern hemisphere so we'll say uh, in northern hemisphere then magnetic field vertical component will be downward and if you are in southern hemisphere, then southern hemisphere, then the magnetic vertical component will be upward. Okay. So let's say rod is horizontal at at equator along east west direction and moving vertically down. Okay. At equator we have only two fields. One. Uh, Oh, we have only BH okay so at equator we have only BH horizontal field and that is to also from south to north okay this is BH so this is south this is north and the conductor is horizontal along east to west okay the conductor is like this and it is moving velocity is downward so obviously if we'll take bvl so emf induced is nothing but this is bh emf induced it will be bh into velocity into length of the conductor which is l and we can also specify which pole will be positive or which pole will be negative so we can say uh, using v cross b v cross b is nothing but upward oh sorry uh, v is down the plane and b is this so v cross b is towards right so it this pole will be positive and this pole will be negative moving on to the next example a rod is horizontal at equator along east west moving towards south okay so let again the rod is horizontal at equator this is north south direction this is bh and it is moving in this direction so this is velocity this is length l we can say in this case b and bh are parallel or anti-parallel so emf induced will be zero okay emf induced will be zero in this case, uh, we have to find the potential difference between wings, uh, between the tips of wings, span is L, if flying horizontally towards north, okay. So it is flying horizontally towards north, we can say, let's say this is the wings of having a span of L length, it is moving horizontally towards north. This is north, this is south, this is east, this is west. So velocity is this, in this direction there is pH. And let's say it is in southern hemisphere, so uh, this is BV, out of the plane. So there will be no EMF induced because of pH, but B will, BV will cause some EMF induced because BH is parallel to V, so no EMF induced because of it, and BV is perpendicular to V, so EMF induced will be vertical component into velocity into length. Again, which V cross B, V cross B, this side is positive and this is negative. V cross B comes into this direction, so east, the tip which is towards east will be positively charged or will have higher potential. A plane is diving vertically having its wing 
along east west direction okay in this case now the wings are like this they are diving vertically means velocity is downward this is north this is south in this direction you will have vh what velocity is this and let's say we are in northern hemisphere so magnetic field will be downward as we are in northern hemisphere so obviously bv will not cause any emf induced because they are parallel the emf will be caused because of vh only so emf induced will be vh v into l okay and if the wings are along north south direction let's say wings are like this obviously and velocity is like this diving this is north this is south this is east west so and this will be bh horizontal field and this will be vertical field so v is parallel to bv and bh is parallel to the length so both the components will not be able to cause any emf induced so emf induced in this case will be zero neither bh nor bv will be able to produce any emf across the wings okay enjoy